Generic greetings and welcome back to the gift that keeps on giving also known as Prison Architect. I thought I was done with this game. I honestly thought that with it no longer being updated and featuring it for over two years with 300 plus videos, lo doing loads of builds and using loads of mods and stuff, I honestly thought we were pretty much done. However, I always thought that they were going to do some more updates and lo and behold, here we are, update 11. Actually, there was an update 10 which I missed and update 10 was mainly bug fixes and also a couple of more deployment options options but I didn't do any videos on that. Update 11 adds a very nice feature called staff needs which is not unlike the prisoner needs so you have to look after your staff as well as your prisoners so I thought it would be a nice opportunity to do a bit of a mini series and the reason it's a mini series is I'm recording this less than a week before Christmas and I don't want to be having this run all the way over Christmas to the new year because I'm going to be taking a break so these videos depending on when you're watching this will just be um between essentially uh, well whenever they come out and before christmas we won't be running over that if we don't get it built then we'll come back after the new year that's the overall plan so as i said mini series create new prison we're going to go for small because i want to keep it as small as possible standard warden fog of war yes forests no actually forests yes because you get money from it no lakes no buildings we'll have we'll have filly conditions we don't want gangs yet we do want events we will not have weather and temperature we are going to have staff needs because it's the new thing no unlimited funds and no tools and sheets and we'll click play and there we are so for First things first, we're going to do a quick design. Now, normally I would say at this point, ah, I will be planning this off and then taking feedback for the next episode. I don't think I will because I'm going to have to bulk record, uh, bulk record most of these in pretty much uh, one or two days. So I will be building this as not as fast as I can, but I won't be able to take as much feedback as possible. Uh, certainly not on the first couple of episodes anywhere. So I'll be uh, actually planning this off and building it pretty much from here. So we might even get building done right now. But let's just see how far we get so as always we're going to be doing the middle i will be a bit rusty at this i mean i know i'm never really good at any game but um, the thing is, I'm, uh, you know, if, the, if there's one game I'm sort of semi-competent at, it's Prison Architect, but, uh, I haven't played this in quite some time, so obviously there will be some, uh, dodgy errors and stuff in places. So anyway, we do have an entrance where what we'll do is we'll have a bit of a storage. I'm not going to go for, like, a huge capacity. This is going to be probably a mixed prison or maybe a normal. I think we'll go with normal. Normal risk is probably the way to go. This is going to be a entrance way for the prisoners, so we will have, yes standard sort of doors actually we don't need to do that we can actually bring it down like so and then have a an area for searching here there we go uh something like that would be totally acceptable there we are so what we'll do is we'll have a deliveries and garbage here in fact we might as well go over to our rooms over to our uh get rid of that uh, we want to go for a deliveries deliveries can go there we can have a garbage down the bottom there and obviously delete the other one like so Delivery, deliveries and garbage and our in this section here will be our entrance way and this will be our reception so we can actually search prisons and such i'm not gonna go around and put in the different doorways and such and uh, sorry like all of the objects and put doorways in but i'm not gonna put uh, things like the individual items in because as long as we've got the right size then we're pretty much done so there we go uh, so people will be able to come in here and around now deliveries they will have to go through this main door but that's not really a big problem i can i can manage that and then from this back way actually what will happen is prisoners will go down two channels either side like so and then they'll uh, essentially come out here now this section and this section will probably have as a i don't know what should we have actually what i'll do I don't want to make it a complete... I always go for symmetrical stuff, but I don't need to do that. We'll have a section here which is going to be for the staff. So this is this is going to be a wall that goes all the way around the outside. So one, two, three, four. And this is going to be our staff area. So we'll have our officers in here. So one, two, three, and then four. And then on this side, it will be probably a little bit larger. Uh, do we want it a little bit larger? We could have a little bit larger. I don't see why it can't be. Um, we'll delete that off. Uh, we'll have a... Actually, it would be better if we if we have it just like that. Hang on. Let's shrink this down. Shrink this down. Already changing most of the design because of reasons. Uh, we can pull that down like so. That's fine. Rough central piece there. Go back over to rooms and just make sure that those bits of rooms are deleted off. Unpause and pause it for a moment. So that's still a searching area. That's fine. But we do want... We will have to go to objects here and check just to make sure we can fit in... Ah, oh, that's fine. We can fit in the... Uh, 
the section that I want. So it'll be two doors. There'll be a door there and a door there, right? Like so. Now this door will go into a area here, which will be all for visitation, right? So this is all visitation, something like that. Yeah, that's all visitation. You understand? I don't need to plan it all off. This will be our staff room, which will be a little bit different. So it's going to have a section going like this. This will come out, and we don't really need this. this. This is just a weird lump here. And then we'll have probably, hmm, well, we need we need several things. Actually, we'll probably cut this right down there, and we'll have several things. We do need an area for the, we need an area for the dogs and also security, and also, very important now, the staff room and staff canteen, which is obviously the new thing that has been added in this update. So maybe we'll just sort of split this down the middle and have it as that. Maybe that one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I'm just going to do this for a second. One, two, three, four, five, yes. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay. So, two areas. Objects. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Actually, these are slightly wrong. Or are they? Actually, no, they're not too bad. Okay, so this will be our staff room. This will be our staff canteen. And what happens with the staff canteen, it is different to the standard prisoner canteen or the standard canteen, whichever you would like to call it, because it doesn't cook food it doesn't. You don't get food cooked in the kitchen and then brought to it. Essentially, uh, food gets brought from the outside in. So that's the big difference between the two. So that's why uh, we've got it very close to this entrance here. So one, two, three, four, and then that's going to be our. That's going to be four officers. We do, however, need six officers in total. We need one for the warden, the accountant, the chief, the foreman. And then we need the psychologist and lawyer. Now, the psychologist we don't really need in here, and the lawyer we don't necessarily need. Mm, okay, that's fine. So all I can do then is have this one, if I really wanted to. I could have this one is like a slightly bigger area for the warden because he's very important or something. There you go. And then this one will be for dogs. This one will be security or something. We don't have to have a specific room for security, you understand, but that's what we've got there anyway. So, that comes out to about there. This one will do probably the same. Actually, we don't need to do probably the same thing because it's going to be... Uh... Yeah, it's probably going to be different. Right, okay, so, sorted. In the centre here, we're going to have a, a fairly big room. Uh, we'll probably have an area here for our power block, which is a 5x5. Five five. I always like to put a gap all the way around it. It just seems to look better. Okay. And then, actually, it's a... Th I know, we can save loads of room if we just put it on the corner. So, 5x5, five 3x3? Five, three three? Hang on. Is that right? I don't know if that's right. Is it a 3x3? Three three? I think it's a 3x3. Three three. Hang on, let me just check. 3x3, three three. yeah, of course it's a 3x3. Three three. Okay, so there's the 3x3. Three three. That's going to be our area for, like, water and power. We all need we only need one generator in here. And then on this side, we can put in a, um, a storage room, which is going to be there. Then this bit will be our, can uh, our kitchen. Only done that just because of symmetry. We could do that, but uh, I like the idea of having it sort of symmetrical like that. That's not too bad. This is going to be our kitchen. Canteen will be similar sort of size. One, two, three, four, I believe. Yeah, it's four. And then along. There we are. Four. Job done. Probably oversized that, but, you know, always better to overdo it than underdo it. There we are. Right. So, uh, the prisoners come out here. What we'll do, go to pathways, 
Because I want to measure a pathway around. Only single pathway in this one. I think. Single pathway is probably the way to go. Then along. Then along here. Cross down. This will be a yard. We'll do... Because we can. Just because we can. Something similar here. Because it sort of makes sense. Object, object. There we go. Pathways. Just measuring it off. Making sure it's about right. At least if I'm putting the guides in now. I know that we're pretty much done with it. Like, so we know that these are definitely rooms for whatever reason. Uh, this will also have a straight section here. Because uh, you'll go into uh, this visitation. So it'll come down. Obviously we will have to have uh, doors all the way along that. Well, we could have that as outside technically. But I think that's going to be one big building, so that's okay. Right, pathways. Uh, the external diameter. External diameter, not diameter. External size is 16 long, 14 high. So 14. So it should be that. 16 by 14, that's fine. And then across, like so. Don't know if we're going to keep that, but let's see how it goes. This will go up like so, along like that. Obviously, we'll have entrances in this. Don't know how we're going to have that yet, but we'll see. And then the bottom, straight across, cell block. And the top, straight across, cell block. There you go. Okay, quite simple. Job done. So these are yards. We will probably go to unpause. And actually, we're probably going to have to have rooms exports for the time being. And we'll put exports just across the road like so. And the reason we're doing that is because we're going to go to dismantle object. And we're going to dismantle all the trees in the game. As you can see. And that gives us money eventually. Which is always good. There we go. I think that's pretty much all of them as far as I can see. Yeah, I'll be about right. Uh, first thing I want to do actually is go over to intake and turn that to off. I want to go over to a CEO's letter. Close that as well. And we'll max speed it so the workman can crack on and remove all of the trees. Back over to planning. And we will see what haven't we got. Well, there's loads of things we haven't got. Actually, what I was going to do first is go over to our rooms and then type in yard. Or actually type in yar like a pirate. And then put that here. Because it's very hard to see because of the colours. I always think when you click on the uh, rooms and stuff, it should it should highlight the plans like that, a bit better, but anyway. So there's the yards put in. Uh, we can actually put storage in, I believe. Storage does not require an external space or internal space. It's just placed somewhere. So there we are. There's that put in. So storage, yes. Canteen, kitchen, yes. All of the offices all dandy. We need... Words. What do we need? We need a couple of things. Let's go over to this what can this be common room i think probably a big common room yeah makes sense to me no reason why it can't be this thing will be there'll be two of them and they will be split in half roughly half actually probably probably cut it one two three four five like that first one two three four five Okay, and then half. Half of 18, we're not going to get it. So it's going to be that. 9 and 8. Yep, okay, 9 and 8. And that'll be things like the... Oh, what would it be? The chapel, library for readings, is the... Well, what would it be? Mail room, shop, things like that. These two parole. Okay, that's what those two are. Excellent. Right. So, uh, we'll go back over to pathways, straight down, like that, and then there's several things we haven't yet got, but we'll, we'll come to those later. What we need to do now is add a couple of showers, either side, seven and seven, like so. There's your showers, okay. And then, hmm... And then what? Well, the problem is that if I have all of the cells here, it means to tunnel out, they're very, very, it's very easy for them to get out. In fact, a solution is uh, actually to do something like this, right? You do it all the way across, and yeah, that's the shower. But uh, I don't like that. <laughs> Not a big fan of that. So it's seven, and then straight up. Okay. And then back to this. 
15, so we do at least have a middle. If we do that, so that should be 7 and 7. Oh, 6 and 7. Sorry, yeah, it's that. That's the middle. Don't like that because it's a bit too small, so we will go for a 3 gap. There you go. Obviously, we'll put drains and stuff in there. It's very, very... See the colours changing? I'm sure the colours are a lot better in this than they were. Or is that just me? I don't know. Anyway. So, what I'm going to do is go over to materials, brick wall, and I'm going to spend actually quite a bit of money on getting... Uh, actually, I'm not going to put brick wall there. This is all going to be indoors, so there's no reason to, to put brick walls there. What I am going to have is a building back here. Walls, delete all of this section here. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Put it there just for safe measure. And that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nothing can be flung in. Nothing can be flung in from there now. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's objects, not, not pathway. And there you go. There's your pathway. So, we've got our stuff at the front and back. Just make sure that's seven and seven. I'm only going to design the bottom one. The top one will be mirrored, okay? So you understand that that is the case. So we will have cells going along. Um, actually, what we're going to do is have cell blocks that are probably set away from the edge of the prison. One, two, three, and then that. And one, two, three, and then that. Okay, that's actually perfect. There we go. And then it'll be this. Okay, so they're actually set away from the walls. Now, it's not very efficient, but as I've said, I want this to be a very quick series because I don't want to really run it over the Christmas and New Year because I really do want to take a break. And since this fits in perfectly, that's what we're going to do. It's still going to be fairly decent capacity. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 4, 6, 8. I've missed someone. It'll be about, uh, about over 100 anyway. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 24, 26, 28, 30, 2, 4. Actually, no, it's not going to be over 100. It's a lot less than that. Close to 70. Okay, there we go. So these will be cells. They will have doors on this side here, like that, you understand? And on the opposite side, opposite side as well. Same thing for this one. In fact, we might as well design it because it should be relatively easy. It's that, and then it is... That I believe, as long as it's seven, we know it's 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 legit. Yeah, it is fine. That should be the center. It looks about right to me. Six, six. Yeah, that's fine. Obviously, we do need to put these in there. Showers, as always, oversized. I know. Whatever. Job done. Okay. Entrance way doesn't really need to be in any particular area. Sadly, have not got metal detectors because we haven't planned it to have metal detectors. But we are in the planning planning area, so we could probably put metal detectors in if we really needed to. But you know what? No, let's just not bother. We'll put them elsewhere. We'll put them in probably in here. There's a double entrance. There's a double entrance. Metal detectors will be there. Same on this side, like that, and like that. So yeah, there's your metal detectors, okay? Like that. So your metal detectors are in here and here. And we'll even put in the objects just to denote that we've got a door and metal detector. And then obviously we do need to furnish this, but we'll we'll sort that out later. I'm not going to really plan that off. Right, we'll have a quick look down and see what we have got and haven't got. I know there's several things we haven't got. Cells, yes. Holding cells, no. We don't really need one. Solitary, ooh, yeah. Forgot about that. Dormitory, not having it. Canteen and kitchen, yes. Showers, yes. Several of them. Two yards. Storage, deliveries and garbage, yes. Offices, yes. All planned out. Common room, yeah. It's got one here. Visitation, yes, again, it's there. Uh, the staff room, it's in the bottom here. Uh, exports across the road, but we don't really need it permanently. It's just there to get this wood out. The chapel can be in one of these areas. Parole, we've got two of, but we can also shrink that down if we don't need it. Reception, we've got that as well. Excellent. We'll just expand that. Infirmary and security and workshop. No, we haven't got. We're not having a workshop. Security, we do technically have it in this corner here. We have an infirmary space all over here if we really need it to to be placed somewhere. Laundry, no. 
cleaning cupboard no kennel yes armory no we're probably not going to have one library uh, library is going to go there we'll have a library over there no oh well yeah but we'll see forestry we're not having one classroom it can go somewhere the parole yes reception yes mail room yes shop yes so pretty much sorted the only thing that i haven't got is a holding cell which i will put in this corner here so that is going to be a five by eight that's fine we'll probably do the same on the other side you don't actually need to but you know what we might as well have enough just because we can and by the way i haven't got these cells graded if we really wanted to we could do that and have a slightly graded cell but we're not bothering with them this it's not going to be something we're dealing with in this prison so we want about say there we'll split that off and then we'll have in the back section well this is going to be an infirmary okay and actually we do want to plan this off a little bit better because we want to have that and then perhaps that okay there's our infirmary like so and then in this section around the back it's going to be our morgue so there's all your morgue slabs like so and you'll have an entrance where there so we'll have an entrance where there entrance where there then we'll have an entrance there and this will be our um psychologist so he will be right next to it excellent okay solitary we haven't really got so what i'm going to do is see how many solitary cells that's the wrong tool how many solitary solitary cells we can fit in like so and it would be not enough okay so solitary will be one two three four five one two three four five uh, no i don't like it one two three no garbage okay new plan come in here this area security all right one two uh hang on new plan that's security which we haven't really got and you come down through this one two three four five and then there's your thing on the other side so you've got solitary at either side you know what, we're not going to have another hauling cell. We don't need it. But we are going to put it down this side. One, two, three, four, five. And then this one. We will have as. Mm, this was going to be where we have a a room for protective custody because we haven't yet got protective custody have we we haven't got a protective custody putting it in the back however probably going to cause a lot of issues in terms of with the high risk prisoners are the ones that have probably committed some sort of offence being here and then having to be escorted past them so I don't really want that hmm I don't really want that but I don't know what the other solution is. This is our holding cell. That's solitary. Okay. Up here then. What I'll do. Is. 15 is it? There's 15. To there. Okay. This is now where we had the. Uh. the morgue and such it doesn't matter if it's exactly the same size as what i've just measured off as long as it is oh it actually does because then these wouldn't be centralized otherwise so it should be that there you go and it means if someone's on death cell there and you don't actually manage to succeed then you can just go put them through there job done right so that's a terrible horrible thing to say right entrance in here then protective custody, which can go. There you go. Three protective custody areas and a walkway that goes like back into each of them. And that's it's a separate room because of that. We hope. Right. Sorted. So there's a couple of things we haven't got. Things like things like what things like? Uh, things like the workshop haven't got a workshop we're not going to have one things like forestry because we don't have a workshop we don't need one and 
a big common room, maybe? We haven't really got a big common room. We haven't got an Alcoholics Anonymous area. You know what? There's a couple of things we haven't got, but I'm not really too worried about it. The only thing I'm sort of a... that's, that's, a, that's sort of missing, really, the, re the only thing that I really do think we should have is two buildings there, and one of them will be probably a... Is that in the centre? Is there a centre? 17. Also, there could be a centre. So from that corner, 9. And from that corner, 9. Perfect, there is a centre. One of these can be a classroom, one of them can be another common room or some sort of Alcoholics Anonymous. But it doesn't really matter. And then some more of that. And then rooms. Yard. Bosch. Big yard, basketball court, whatever. Obviously, you've got very, very a lot of yards in here, but there we go. Uh, about twenty-five minutes, that. Not a bad one. Not bad for not bad for someone who hasn't played a played the game in what two plus months, maybe three. And uh, yeah, happy with that design. Don't think we're totally missing things out, but we will find out. <laughs> we'll definitely find out what we're missing because uh, yeah. We're going to leave it there. Next episode, I'll start building it. Um, I guess if I leave the recording for the other episodes till tomorrow, then we should be all right. So I can get some feedback on this one. What do you think? Let me know what you think, and then the next couple of episodes will be straight shot. So can't uh, make any changes from here on in. But there you go. There's the overall design for it. It's not too bad. We've got cells, holding cells, yes, it's, uh, solitary, yes, dormitory, no, we're not having it, kitchen and canteen's in, shower in, several of, three yards, storage and deliveries are there, as well as the garbage, offices are in this right-hand side, common room, we've got one there, and also in these two areas if we need them, visitation, we've got at the back on the top right, and then we have staff room, yes, uh, we've got one staff room, and then one, it doesn't show here because it's not a separate room, but what you do is you place a canteen down somewhere, and then you assign it to staff only, and then it cracks on there, uh, it becomes a staff canteen, which is a little bit problematic for new players, but I can understand it, I'm sure you can if you're a veteran of the game as well, exports is over across the road, chapel, somewhere, parole, two of, reception, yes, no problem, other things like morgue we got in, security can be in here, sims, the dogs, infirmary, yes, cleaning cupboard and laundry, no, haven't got it, so it's going to be one of these rooms probably, again, we've just made rooms, there's rooms all over the place for whatever we need, so, I think it's okay, Again, let me know in the comments what you think, and we will go for a home there. As always, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings. Oh, God, we're back on Prison Architect. And so it begins. <laughs>